one of the most important aspects of dealing with stress, anxiety, emotions of despair, low vibrational energy, resistance, darkness, fear. These emotions are ultimately induced by the thought, the imagination, what's in your mind, what's in your brain, what's working. And the pictures, those photographs that we have, it may have been stirring in your soul, in your spirit, in your heart. It may be an experience that feels common to you from your past that you're experiencing now and so that common thread attaches to it and these are emotions that trigger those same emotions that we experience either as a child or as a young adult or even in our past lives these are experiences that we did not heal from and with that being from our past experiences from those emotional traumas those experience those experiences become magnified in our presence because we stop and pause to give it attention we stop and pause to give it our energy and ultimately we give away our power our power to move past that to understand what's really going on inside of us in that moment and we react with those emotions of anger, frustration, depression, anxiety, stress. And that is where we must be able to acknowledge that that is the key to that portal of things that have passed within us that's still hurting, that still exists, it still lingers, it's still traumatic in our own way. And fear of those same emotions because those experiences are experience that experiences that we have not let go of we still can remember and so we connect with that in our present and my message today is what is it that is holding you in your past what continues to allow in what is it that is allowing yourself to go back there and bringing it back here because these questions I ask like how does that make you feel what happened back then uh, what type of experiences did you experience and when you are thoroughly in understanding of how that process is that past experiences still affect you in your presence when you understand that that common thread has not been cut and that you are still holding on then there are some behavioral patterns that come with that the reactionary behavioral patterns the the acting out of something you know what what, what we call bottom line behaviors um, those reactions that's not who we are we weren't made up for that but we do have the ability to get past it and to reprogram change the thought process in that moment and tell the emotions of fear and anxiety and stress those behavioral patterns to stop you are in absolute understanding when you are in your presence you have it in you to be self-empowered with the presence of knowing that you are an equal participant in this lifetime. You are a co-creator with what is around us. You have the ability to change those behavioral patterns through thought and understanding and self-love and self-care. And that also expands into your environment, those people you love, those people you care for. And as you learn to empower yourself with these capabilities 
and understanding of your empowerment that God put in you, that spark that exists in you. And you know that you are worthy and that you are good enough and that you are an amazing being, a soul, a beautiful spirit of energy, you know, a child of your creator, your higher power, then you will acknowledge that specific piece of yourself and you will be able to handle those emotions and you will not react in the way that you do and your behavior will change. It all starts here. And your heart, if you really want that, you will consciously change those emotions. And I believe this. This is not rock and science, but it is something that has been within me of self-transformation, self-changing, self-love, self-care. And when you begin this path, that's when the magic starts to begin. You will see patterns of yourself and not blame other people and not acknowledge their faults and putting it on others or putting it on circumstances. You will ask yourself, what can I do to make changes within me that will make me a better person so I, so I can so I can let go, so I can accept, and so I can move forward. Those are some really deep questions I've had to ask myself. And I'm always a student. I do not know everything, but the experiences of my heart, my life, I am more than willing to share with others. And I choose that path of healing by letting go of my past emotions and my past experiences. And I don't look to others to lead me in the direction I want. I look to my higher power, that which I know is true to me. And I know in my heart who I am and I know what I want. And that builds confidence, self-confidence, inner confidence, and you will see that path change. You'll see the different energies and the people that are supposed to be with you come to you. You'll see that what's not for you leave. You don't give attention to that what no longer serves you. You don't give attention to the people who don't honestly care for you. And you certainly don't give energy to people who believe it's okay to disrespect you, to mistreat you, to take advantage of you, to misguide you, to whatever because of their own issues. You begin to point that out and you acknowledge that within yourself and you don't give it any attention because that is your empowerment. You do not allow someone else to be your higher power. That's not a good thing. I believe that you will find yourself and it may take a long time. And at some point you will acknowledge, you know, yeah, that's, that's me. And I have the capability of handling those situations and those circumstances. And within you is the ability to heal and to seek guidance and to ask those deep questions so you can move forward. That's part of transformation and life. Our life journey of, of a spiritual a spiritual path hope you're having a great day thanks for sharing thanks for coming talk to you soon